Well, hello, fellow space engineers. I guess it's time for another update. It's been a while. Um, I apologize for taking longer on this video. It's just, it's been, it's been busy. So yes, so what's going on? I don't really remember. Um, I know I'm working on a project. I did a mining trip here. Uh, I got a whole bunch of resources. You'll notice there's uh, something new. Um, I decided to change the inventory off of realistic. Um, I made it to times 10, just so that way the, the time spent is more productive, um, so I can concentrate on doing a larger build. Yeah, unfortunately I had to, I caved into that. Um, I was playing with Lush Black the other day, and that's, I think, what occurred is we decided to you know, try it on the times 10. And we liked it made it move along faster and so there we go uh, the other settings I've kept though is the refinery speed and the assembler speeds they are set to realistic because I think it's fine um, I see some videos that people do and this just goes really really fast but I feel that this goes fast enough and it it allows me to concentrate on other aspects of the games, such as the building, which is this is why I wanted this game. Mostly is the building. I am excited about the new changes of the new patch. Oh, what's this? Yes. I've decided to start working on a, a large project, a massive project actually. So if you notice, you'll see the grasshopper on top here. This little guy here. I'm still using him. I've actually moved the thrusters on on him. Uh, these ones up here were actually down here. So I, I cut them out and I put it up here. I reinforced down here, not that it matters. I haven't really done anything else to it. I, I, I added two more thrusters up here and I added these ones on the sides here for more turning. Uh, I just felt it was too sluggish, so I had to add a couple more, and that seemed to have done the trick. As far as the ones in the front, everything works fine, the drills work fine. I could probably position these closer together, but I have a kind of idea that I have for the next ship, and I think I'm quite excited about it, so <laughs> that's what's going to happen on, at some point. Uh, you'll see here I got three grinders. I can't remember if I explained this in one of my videos. I think I did. It's been a while, it seems. So this all works beautifully, these grinders, which dump into here. Uh, okay, what, what did I do with that stuff? Yeah, okay, I probably emptied all of that already. Okay. <laughs> so what I've done with this ship here is it's interfaced with this larger ship this is as well a large ship it's not a station uh, I was going to create a station initially but now I believe that it's gonna be a large large ship now the idea of this <laughs> is meant to be large so this is the one portion of it so it's, uh, this will be kind of like the head and then it's gonna go down into a big larger body here uh, there's going to be a couple more bays down in there for ships. And then on the top, I was going to put another ship bay for a larger ship. Actually, okay, no, scratch that. See, plans change all the time. There's going to be a large, large section up here for a large, massive ship to land on. Then there's going to be kind of like a, a couple bays, one to hold a ship, and then the other... It's going to be filled with grinders all over the place. And that's where I'm going to push the old ships into. And it's going to basically grind, grind, grind. And when the stuff falls apart, it's going to go in towards the grinders, uh, which would be kind of neat. Here I've got set up. So basically with my ship, I, I come in, I fly in, I fly in backwards. I'll have to show that one episode, but yeah. Um, but anyways, <laughs> and I'm saying I'm a lot and I hate that, but oh well. So here's the underbelly of this ship here. I've added this component to it from right off of an inventory box and it works as you'd expect. So what I've done is put this 
Oh, what are these called? Uh, the conveyor tubes. <laughs> I put this here. And then, of course, the col uh, col connector. That's what it is, not collector. This is the collector. And I have the connector dump into the collector here, which is pretty amazing. Uh, then we come down here. To, uh, I can't remember if we have gra no, I don't have gravity. I don't have it turned on. So that, where that gets dumped, let's go look underneath so we can see. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, see, you'll notice. So basically comes down and then it comes across and then it splits off, see as you can see, into two large inventory containers, <laughs> storage containers. And then we're gonna have the tubes carry on this way and carry on down for a bit. This way for just everything that's gonna happen over this part of the ship and then everything down in the bottom part of the ship. And plus it allows transport of the materials to and from you know, wherever I need it. So for example, this goes up. There's even gonna be a passageway that's gonna go up and down as well. So it will be accessible. I think that's gonna be so cool to fly down that once it's done. <laughs> Um, if you notice here, let's turn the uh, there. If, if you notice here, I put the materials in. I just haven't completely welded them because my plan is to come up here and slowly weld as I go. So the materials are loaded in. <laughs> um, gravity generator is done. Those blocks are done because I wanted them done. I put this on the wrong side, unfortunately, because there's a panel on it and you can barely see it when you're positioning it. So I missed it. I'll have to keep an eye out for that next time. Large reactor. Uh, this is where I put all my uranium, my extra uranium, and, and it basically goes into here. So I have uh, 25 in each of the three reactors on uh, the smaller ship. Uh, the very small ship will have about two units all the time. So yeah, so they will all have your fuel. So yeah, it's pretty neat. This large reactor should be enough for now, but I will probably need to build two more. <laughs> large, large ship, the large thrusters I want to put on it. So this tube will go up and will come this way. It connects into the reactor, which is amazing. And then this will carry on. Connect here to allow for dumping with the connector into here. Um, I plan to, with the ship here, you'd move it up. And then you'd uh, dump everything from the, uh, the connector into the collector here. So if I needed to move a bunch of materials off of the this ship onto this ship for whatever reason, then I could. Or if I you destroy this ship and build a new one in its place here, this will still be useful. It's kind of like a feeding system. It's like a way of moving the material around, I guess. It's pretty cool. Uh, another inventory box so that way I can you know access the my inventory here and still collect things these are gonna be stairs going up to kind of like a, a cockpit area up here it's gonna look out it's gonna have glass all the way around above this about probably about here I'm thinking around here it's gonna look all the way around and yeah uh, it should be neat to see what Lushable Echo is doing. I know that he's building a base, a very interesting base, and I'm excited for that. Um, I've uh, chopped up a bunch of ships in the ship graveyard. There's actually less ships there now, so that's pretty exciting. But yeah, but that's what I've been doing. I've been working on this, and a lot of the materials are loaded. I just need to, to continue welding. See, so, yeah, as you can see down here, I'll, oh, uh, I'll, I'll have the materials, it's just not welded, and I'll kind of move around, do a little bit of it, like this, do, 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 do. I'm welding, sometimes I'll find blocks or two blocks that need more components, so I'll go grab them, finish it, and that's what I've been doing, building this stuff, oh, see here, I need construction components, and I don't have any, so let's go grab some. Yeah. And as far as the name of this ship, I have no idea. Uh, construction components. See, I got tons of components now. <laughs> I dismantled 
uh, six ships, I think. Ah, I can't remember. I was going nuts because the grinders on this ship let, uh, lets you do a lot of the work, and then you have to do uh, some of the work by hand, just because it's precision and requires precision. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And other than that, I hope you people are all enjoying the series here. Uh, I do plan on doing Seven Days to Die still. I just, I just don't feel that the current version, version eight or alpha eight. I don't know what's going on. It's, it just seems to be more buggy. I'm not very pleased with it at all. So, I think the key on that will be is we'll play it once we're able to play it and it's stable enough to to handle the server i think yeah so i think maybe 8.2 so you will see more of those don't worry <laughs> we're not getting rid of those and i do have other videos i still have some killing floor which not very many people have watched it's disappointing but then again i i can completely understand why <laughs> so yeah, the Minecraft, I still have that. I haven't really touched that. It's, yeah, I'm kind of waiting for the next update, the 1.8 update, I believe is what it is. Unless I'm completely out of the loop on that. It's been a while for that. I'm not really, I don't know, this is like Minecraft in space. So I'm, I'm really keen on this one at the moment. I like the fact that they're gonna be adding some more cool features. You know, they seem to be adding uh, more components to be able to build with. Uh, the weaponry is getting better. You know, they did some improvements with the weaponry, which I'm kind of kind of excited about that. Uh, all in all, it's it, <laughs> you know, this is it turning out to be a pretty cool game, I believe. Uh, the reason I got it was just the fact that I could build. You could go and mine. And, um, essentially, yeah, yeah. It's essentially just a big your Lego set. I love that, and I plan to go creative on this, or this design of the ship as well. But as always, you know, the function has to happen first, and then the form can follow. Once I know where everything is and how everything is going to be, then we'll go from there. So basically, I'm building the the internals, and then we'll build the external after the internals. So it's it's very delicate, I believe, but should work out so yeah so so thank you all for watching it's been another great episode and i look forward to seeing you all again in the next video have a great day building